In this tutorial, we will be looking at the accommodative esotropias. The three conditions we should look at are fully accommodative esotropia, partially accommodative esotropia, and convergence excess esotropia. Children with uncorrected hypermetropia will accommodate to see clearly, but will develop esotropia due to convergent drive, especially if they have a high ACA ratio. The onset of this condition is normally between the ages of 1 to 5. Looking first at fully accommodated esotropia, there is a esotropia for both near and far. The key thing about this esotropia is that with spectacle correction The esotropia for both far and near fixation is now gone. The treatment for a fully accommodated esotropia is full hypermetropic correction. In partially accommodative esotropia, in this scenario, a right esotropia, as the name suggest, suggests, spectacle correction will only partially correct the esotropia. Therefore, treatment of this condition is full hypermetropic correction, treat any amblyopia, and consider surgery for the residual esotropia if there is potential for binocular single vision or for cosmesis, but only when cosmesis is unacceptable despite glasses. In convergence excess esotropia, there is a high ACA. The ACA is a, is a measure of accommodative convergence per unit of accommodation. Therefore, high ACA ratio will mean a large convergence per unit of accommodation. These patients will have a near esotropia They may or may not have a refractive element, but at distance they will only have euphoria. Treatment of convergence excess esotropia includes treating any refractive area, error or amblyopia, consider off optic exercises, executive bifocal glasses, surgery or even myotics. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and the next tutorial will be on non-accommodative. Is a tropius.